It is Lunas Macho Monday. The Intour Cheer with a series that is too big for just one episode. That's right. We're about to give you an entire month's worth of mangling mayhem in one episode. That's right. Let's get to it. This is no joke, folks. And we're spicing it up even more. Starting off at our safe and secluded TV studio, live from Toots Mount. And I just realized we don't have a title match. Hmm, that's interesting. We're just going to have to change that, shall we? Well, we're in the TV studio. How about TV title? Why not? But the question is one on one or one on one on one? Well, this is the biggest event of the year. Let's go that route, shall we? But what will this be? Maybe an extra match just to get the crowd up, get the blood flowing. What are we doing? Hmm. What are we doing? Hmm. Could do a handicap match. That should make things fun. Yeah. I like that. Alright. Let's get things going. What tag team's about to take somebody on? First. Somebody legendary. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We haven't seen enough of Enormous Pierre in a long time. However... We could look for a specimen. Someone physically imposing. <laughs> I'd like to be back. Oh, yes. The Annihilator. But what tag team is he going to be facing? How about. Oh, I'm such a bastard. Then, and Max Attack. Huh. Oh, I guess Zen was not foil. Yeah. Oh, we need to change that. Finally get it official. Thought I had that done. Boom! Ah. 
8-bit versus the Annihilator. Oh, wow. This is going to make things interesting. An Akari Vision. There we go. That's just to start the show off, folks. All right. Oh yeah, Cletus, you haven't you haven't had a match in a while. Let's give you something to work with. You know what? Yeah, I like this. I like where this is going. The mullet cousins are coming to the ring. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to be one of those crazy episodes, folks. Um, before we... Yeah. Obviously, merch, get the merch out, sell it all, yeah. Oh, I forgot, Drool is the TV champ. But the best part about TV is the impossible. So let's do that. Let's open the gates up even more. Yeah, let me find a tweener. Two zap, maybe. Ace of spades, beer can, mate. You know what? Oh! Yeah! 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 All right. Yes! Yes! I like where this is going. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, but he can't have his boys with him, apparently. Oh. Oh, well then, he's just going to have to get creative, isn't he? Oh, wow, yes, 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 all of the yes. You know what? Yeah, average guy isn't above, isn't above anything. He's willing to just go out there and put on a show for the crowd. In fact, by doing so, this is his way of offering up a shot to, to Brute. If Brute can beat him in a non-title match, yeah, I like that. Brute can beat him in a non-title match, that just puts him higher up on the card. But will he do it on his own? Can he do it on his own? I mean, of course not. He's... Yeah. 
average guy, though, has got the roar of the crowd. There we go with that. They're just shaking everything up. All right. Time for a little Merc in action. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bobby's going to try to be good and honorable. Vladimir, however... What nefarious deed does he have in mind? Yes. <laughs> no, we'll just keep it to the basic. There we go. Don't want to do the obvious hair versus hair, that's becoming childish. But a lady submissions match sounds interesting. This will be the one. Better yet, Princess Starbright believes there's good in Kit Pistol. Absolutely. <laughs> Here we go. This this is going to be fun. In this last match. Let's get some heavies in there. But 
Are you kidding? All right. You know what? Yeah. Genzu, you're up. Yeah, and he's got something to say. All right. Hmm. Don't really think he needs dirty tactics, but with Genzu out there, he definitely needs his back watch. But what will Genzu do? No. Here we go. I like how this first match is about to shape up. Let's go. Let's get to it. Oh, and they go right after the Annihilator. Can the 8-bit tag team get the job done? He's tanking everything they're doing, absorbing it like a sponge. But the Triple Force gets it done. Did not see that coming. Oh, and Teeny Norman has the odds against him. It's supposed to be one-on-one, -on -one, but the ref can only do so much, but the magic bicycle kick gets it done. Oh, and the average guy showing he is here for the fans, hitting the average elbow out of nowhere. What a match. And Bobby Blitz were taking on the Carpathian himself with the sack attack. Goodness. This one's going to be an interesting one. Princess Starbright's got Glam all confused why she's assisting Kit Pistol. And there's the thrashing. Probably one of the best matches of the night, folks. And the triple threat. Here we go. Jet Set Strutter between a rock and a hard place. Ninja to the left. Hitman to the right. And the Canadian Cloverleaf gets cinched in and ends this one. This is for the TV belt, folks. I don't know about this, th this chopper or MC Frosty, but Drool definitely has his hands full. And it wins it with the Atomic Wedgie. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have a TV champion. In front of a sold-out crowd. Zen is bouncing around the ring while his opponent just stumbles. Bam, 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 triple force. One, two, three. Teeny suddenly takes control. Could this be it? Yes, pow, magical bicycle kick right to the kisser. One, two, three. Average guy is feeling it now. He does a little wiggle, he does a little jiggle, and there it is, the average elbow. One, two, three. Blitz gets down to three-point stance. The crowd is ready. Sack attack. One, two, three. Kit Pistol's got Glam Sam locked in. That's it. She's tapping. It's over. Mercenary's opponent is worn down. He's got his legs in position and he's cinching in the Canadian clover leaf. It's over. Drool already tore up the turnbuckles. What's next? Whoa, there it is. Atomic wedgie. One, two, three. Huh, that's got us in at least second place right now. But we're not done. Okay. Let's get this off to a roaring start. At the Cattle Castle. Alright. Who's actually going for the belt? You know what? 
Hammerhead's demanding, but it'll be his partner Britt Buckingham getting the shot. Hopefully this doesn't ruin their friendship. They are tag champs after all. But can Britt be a two-time champion? Oh, wait. All he can do is speak on behalf of his partner. He's still out. He's still injured. However, with Mercenary's amazing work last week at the last show, he's going to get his shot. sick and tired of all the nonsense going on. And this one's going to be an Iron Man match. Oh yeah. But what are the other segments going to be? Let's have a ladies match. Or maybe a mixed match. Let's go ladies. And it's going to be Almighty Gala. Slapping around some local talent. This would be a tag match, elimination style. going to get this shot. Well, you know what? Maybe they want some redemption after last week, so I have the mullet cousins. Against The stuntmen. <laughs> See how well that goes over. And since it is the stuntmen, it's going to be an elimination tables match. There we go. Shake it up and shock the crowd with that one. And that's to start the show off, folks. Another tag match. 8-bit doing pretty well. But 
can they do well against barbaric nature? in a dog collar match. Um, trying to get the hammerhead, that would be nice. What the heck? Ugh, oh well. Let's see here. Actually, who could be bragging? Oh! There we go. Even better. Let's make it official. Minx challenging Mother Russia for the belt. There we go. Oh! Better yet. Yeah. Growler's there. And we're going to be... Yeah. Pay-per-view commercial. Yeah, did bro hand. Ricardo Mar Marcel being accompanied to the ring by his tag team partner. Yeah. 
metal heads. That could actually be a nice match. We'll get that into a tag team scenario later. Anyway, let's get to this mega show. Come on! Oh, we're starting the show off with a tag team elimination tables match. What are these guys thinking? Oh, Cletus Mullet's taken out immediately. Oh, that leaves Zeke on his own. Oh! But the crash test dummy himself taken out. It's down to our dirt bike kid and the bigger mullet cousin. Back and forth. Who's going through this next table? Oh! The stuntmen get the job done! If this doesn't put him on the board, I don't know what will, folks. Oh, what is this? And that's it. Almighty Dollar in record time. Oh, Ricardo Marceau against Dizzy Licks. This was... Whoa! What the Canadian Crab! This was an unexpected, surprising match. There's a commercial for the upcoming pay-per-view. Back to the show. Oh, now we're in for the dog collar match between the bar between Barbaric Nature and 8-Bit. Oh, the fat camel clutch ending it. Did not see that coming. Almost as if it was a cheat code. And here's Minx calling out the women's champion. Oh, and she responds in kind but not kindly. That's it. We've got our match. Oh, average guy take, taking it to the kid. And the average elbow wins it. Did not expect this in this Iron Man match. Zeke Mullet is splayed out on the table. Here comes Rad Racer. Crash! Ring the bell. It is over. Almighty Dollar rolls her opponent up into the old school girl. That should do it. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Oh, Mar Ricardo Marceau won by count out. Just snapping that Canadian crab on the outside right before the count of eight. Leaving Dizzy just unable to get back inside. Just by promoting Drool, Kid Chameleon, Dr. B, and Dude Brohan, no one seems to care that much. Wow. This violent encounter is nearly over. That it, there it is. Troglo finishes Zen. Ring the bell. Troglo actually getting injured in the process. Hope he gets feeling better soon. Minx issues a challenge to Mother Russia, but the crowd doesn't seem that interested. Ugh. You gotta get that pay-per-view sold, guys. Come on. Both wrestlers are exhausted as the time winds down. If average guy can get this last pinfall, he wins. One, two, three, he's done it! All right, folks, woo! This right here has been quite the show so far. Just stay tuned for the second half as we take over in the ratings war.